In this video, we're taking a look at some next generation battery and electric vehicle propulsion technology that General Motors is working on to help put more affordable and long range capable electric cars onto the road. It's all to answer two questions. What is Ultium and what does it mean for you? I'll be talking you through this video and we'll also be hearing from Andy Aubrey. I'm a battery engineer here at General Motors and I've been working on developing various different battery packs over the course of the last 10 years. And uh, three or four years ago, uh, myself and the team started working on the development of the Altium uh, battery platform. And part of this story even takes us here to Sudbury, Ontario, where I call home. More on that in a bit. Canada will play a major role in GM's push towards an electrified motoring future, with the automaker investing about a billion dollars into Canadian electric vehicle, or EV, production and development. A new line of electric delivery vehicles is readying for launch under GM's new Bright Drop sub-brand, and when they arrive, these delivery vehicles will be an all-electric, made-in-Canada solution to meet growing demand around the world. But it's passenger vehicles where you and I will probably be seeing the biggest changes in the coming months and years. We've had electric and hybrid GM vehicles for years now. There's an all-new Chevy Bolt on the horizon. Ditto a specialty all-electric Cadillac called the Lyric. The Hummer name is coming back too, this time as an all-electric super truck from GMC with a thousand horsepower, no gasoline required. And don't worry, more affordable and mainstream electric cars and crossovers are coming too. Um, then the nuts and bolts of it are that we've developed a new from the ground up propulsion system vehicle architectures and software uh, that allow us to build this huge suite of electric vehicles from small um, SUVs to low roof luxury sedans uh, to full size trucks and everything in between. That gives us the ability to respond quickly to um, how the customer choices and preferences play out in the market. To be clear, GM is kicking off a brand reinvention and they're pushing forward at full speed towards electric. Beneath this wide range of incoming electric product is Ultium. A helpful shorthand, both internally and externally, for um, people to understand what we're working on and that we're talking about you know, one new system here. It's a new battery and drive module technology and architecture that GM is using to set themselves up for that incoming wave of all electric vehicles. Demand for electric models is expected to double between 2025 and 2030 to about 3 million EV sales per year in the US. And with the cost of EV ownership expected to drop and growing charging infrastructure along the way, it seems like GM thinks the time is right to start bringing new electric product to market at a rapidly accelerated pace. As demand grows, so will the number of different types of electric vehicles offered. As customer demands change and shift, Ultium's flexible and scalable architecture means that GM can deploy more vehicles more quickly using a common drive system. We've got tremendous flexibility within the platform to um, make all those different vehicles. And then within a given vehicle, we've got flexibility to offer customers different uh, size batteries so that they can have a vehicle that meets their range and budget needs. Of course, EVs can make a more positive impact when more people drive them, which is exactly why GM's Altium Tech is designed to make driving an electric vehicle more feasible for more drivers, first by keeping costs down. A unique battery chemistry created in partnership with LG led to new battery cells that use more nickel and about 70% less cobalt in their chemistry. Cobalt is expensive, so whipping up a new battery recipe that uses much less of it makes those batteries more affordable. And as a Sudbarian who makes his home in the world's nickel capital, this new nickel-heavy battery chemistry is exciting news for me. Special Ultium battery cells use a unique pouch-style design, allowing them to be packaged vertically or horizontally to create battery packs that are very flexible in terms of the sizes, shapes, and thicknesses that they can be formed into. That flexibility means that Ultium can easily power anything from an extreme off-roader to an affordable hatchback to a high-performance sports car, with all-wheel drive, front or rear-wheel drive possible, and locking axles with electric motor synchronization that simulates differential lock for off-road applications too. 
So the idea is, by creating a scalable architecture of batteries and motors combined into drive units, Altium reduces costs even further by reducing complexity. Right now, GM offers hundreds of complex driveline configurations across all of their internal combustion vehicles. With Altium technology, they would need less than 20 different configurations and all with less complexity than a conventional combustion power driveline. And unlike those, Altium's ultimate flexibility means the shape, size, and position of the drive module can be totally optimized to enhance the vehicle's handling, center of gravity, or interior space. So it's all designed to maximize energy storage while reducing cost and complexity. There's even a new wireless battery management system, which further reduces assembly costs and complexity by doing away with miles of wiring and the cost to manufacture and assemble it. So Altium is all about focusing on lower costs and more power storage to help make the EV more appealing to more potential buyers. Further steps towards that goal include high-performance charging with some innovative tech allowing the Altium battery pack to physically switch between series and parallel to enable even faster fast charging. We're talking 100 plus kilometers of range added to the battery in 10 minutes or less, or dozens of kilometers of range added back to the battery in the time it takes for a quick washroom break on a road trip. Faster charging is more convenient charging, which makes it easier to attract more EV curious shoppers. If you arrive at an 800 volt compatible charging station, when you plug in, the charging station and the vehicle are gonna to talk to each other. The charging station's gonna say, hey, I'm an 800 volt charger. The pack's gonna say, sweet, uh, give me a second, I'm gonna reconfigure into 800 volt mode. And there's just a, a couple of electrically operated switches, uh, you know, called relays inside the battery pack that um, some of them open and others of them close. So they go from being wired in parallel to being wired in series. When they're wired in series, it doubles the system voltage to 800 volts. And uh, that lets us charge faster because we're, we're still gonna max out the amount of current that you can carry over the, the charge coupler from the charger. But when you double the voltage, you're getting approximately double the power uh, fed into the pack. Altium powered vehicles could offer up to 644 kilometers of driving per charge at this writing while delivering zero to 100 in as little as three seconds. Battery options will range from 50 to 200 kilowatt hours with most drive units designed and manufactured in house. And remember, with the ability to package those battery packs and drive units in various shapes and sizes, Altium makes it easy to achieve the weight balance and center of gravity targets required by extreme performance vehicles too. We're going to continue to introduce new and better generations of Altium as we go. Uh, we will get to a point where we're able to carry enough energy in a vehicle that uh, customers can have um, towing. And when we talk about our long-term uh, you know, our, our aspiration to sell all electric vehicles by 2035, uh, that's no joke. And what if you look at the vehicles that we would need to supply to the market, you've got vehicles that are really good at towing are part of that. So um, towing's on the roadmap and uh, we need a lot of energy to tow. All of our vehicle level technical specifications are the same for cold weather, whether you're a um, gas and diesel vehicle or an electric vehicle. So the vehicles are, they have the same specifications, they're tested the same way. And then at the component level, we're testing our components down to those extreme uh, temperatures. Uh, you know, I was just in our battery lab the other day and we were testing out how low we could get our thermal chamber. We got it down to uh, minus 99 degrees Fahrenheit. We stress test all our parts that way. You know, just like customers today, some customers um, have engine block heaters. You know, if you if you need an engine block heater, you know it and you go and buy the, your vehicle and configure it that way. If you're a, a customer who routinely plugs in your engine block heater, you're a customer who's going to want to routinely plug in your electric vehicle uh, to condition the battery when it's cold. There's a lot of thermal mass in the battery and we can use that thermal mass to our advantage. And you know, if you're plugged in, you're gonna to wanna to keep that warm and ready to go. For more EV news, reviews, and previews of upcoming products, head on over to driving.ca and don't forget to like and subscribe down below and click that notification icon so you'll always be up to date when we launch a new video. So is anyone else excited to see what's next? I'm Justin Pritchard for driving.ca. Take care and drive safe.